someone sent me this and it was an actual paper in a university and this is probably one of the funniest things i've ever seen it goes uh japan's sacred sumo and the exclusion of women i saw that and the idea it's, it's a no i was yeah i saw that it's a lecture it's on october 20th we can actually watch it we oh fuck if we went coming, to it no, no no we can't oh well we, i guess we could go to it i think it's in the uk maybe not but uh yeah it's a, i think it's in the uk but we can watch it for sure. I bet we could ask questions too. Like, I bet there'll be like a and a session where we go, hey, so, uh, do you think the problem is they're just not pigs fat enough? Fat enough for this? <laughs> where do you find fat enough pigs? Yeah. Yeah. You go, you go, what do you think the issue is? Are the girls just not fat enough? Are they too fat? <laughs> also, I look, you know, it's a weird thing, by the way, in this, cause you sent me this link. And so there's like, I guess they're doing another lecture that's unrelated to it, but it's like, as you scroll down, it's called Whales of Power. <laughs> and I go, Whales of Power and female. I'm like, what the fuck? And What's then Whales like, of Power? Like if, you click, like, if you look at the link, it says, it's like hf.iuio slash whatever, blah, 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 slash English slash research. Tell me it's fact. Slash girls. Whales of Power, but it's like unrelated to this. But I go, I'm like, man, you're calling them Whales of Power? But who are they calling Whales of Power? I think it's actually about whales. I think it's about <laughs> whales, but then they also have a sumo thing that's unrelated. But they just like, had it back to back, back to back, because it's in the link. It says whales of power. I would like you go. Yeah, yeah, that'd be good to ask questions. You go there and you go. So, um, were you inspired to do this to try to get your mom a job? <laughs> um, uh, I'm here with Danny and uh, him and his mom want to sign up for this. <laughs> but um, do they go topless? You think that? Oh, that's a good point. Do they have to wear a big onesie like Earthquake and Typhoon? Yeah, like, do they go, exactly. Is it Earthquake and Typhoon? That was always, me and Waldo went home with these two girls once, and we always say that we went home with Earthquake and Typhoon. If you're listening to this, pause your pause the fucking uh, phone and look up a picture of Earthquake and Typhoon. <laughs> Tag team duo, Earthquake and Typhoon. But... It, basically, this is one of those things where I would make that video and be like, we need more women sumo wrestlers, of right? Course. Well, that's the thing. You go, listen, there's a girl out there right now, you know, a, a mini honey boo-boo, and she knows that she'll never be able to be a fat fucking whale in, in a ring pushing someone out of a thing. It's a tough life, though, being a fucking sumo wrestler. Like, so much eating. Well, so much. No, but it's like they, the way they have like their camps and stuff. And it's like they have to just like they train all the like it's like they're almost like they're treated like not. I want to say animals, but it's like. The whole no, no, no. You're crazy. off on that. They're like high class. They're high class. But like to get to that point. Oh, you're saying the lower guys. They yeah, get, like the training. They just put them in a trough. It's like really <laughs> grueling training. Really? Yeah. Uh, like, And also, I'm like. Well, you would know. <laughs> I would know. It was tough for you? It was tough for me. They. I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat all the fucking. You go in there. Couldn't eat it. all the gruel. Yeah. <laughs> they they said. Okay. Well, they said there. They go in a guest lecture. Uh, this Lindsay Dewitt Pratt, a postdoctoral fellow at the Grant University. So this is what she's doing. She's already has her doctor, but now she's working on this whole sumo project. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, this goes back to what we were saying last week about how useless college is for so many people. That's correct. Whereas if you this is this is what's called sunk cost right here. Okay. <laughs> so we, we, you'll learn this in economics if you actually That's spend correct. your money well. So you basically go get this useless fucking education, and you go, oh, well, I got to keep keep going because i spent all this money i'm 100 cost. g's deep 200 g's if she's doing this nonsense and then she gets like an internship and she's like what do i do and they go oh why aren't there enough women in sumo i'm gonna spend the next two years research probably this. just like you know rinse some fucking foundation for some grant money so you can be like i'm gonna research why there aren't women in sumo it's so funny yeah she says uh they will give you the rich cultural history of the sumo wrestler. The Japan Sumo Association, a quasi-governmental corporation. So it's sumo sort of socialized. Yeah. It's kind of like the Olympics, you know what I mean? Where you kind of work for the government almost. It, I think, it, yeah, it is. In, in uh... Champions itself, a custodian of a divine affair cultivated by male deities and mortal men and exclusivity of women. And the funny part was the author wasn't that fat either. No, she's just pretty... <laughs> Which is even funnier, you know what I mean? <laughs> she's like, she's going around to other fat girls and being like, you have fucking... The fact that you can't be a sumo wrestler. She, it's like a sketchy did kind of, but it's like she probably has like a like a little board and it says like, why aren't there women in? And That's then correct. a wheel of words. This was straight up the wheel spinning and wheel landed on why sumo aren't wrestling. Why in sumo? Okay, the next two years of my life dedicated to this, <laughs> to writing this wrong. 
That's the thing. They like we need a girl fat bastard. Also, That's the thing. Girls always they switch the do the gender swap to the good characters, but you never see any polling for like <laughs> we need a female fat bastard. You know. Also, like Japanese women. We are need like, a female penguin. Japanese women are like pretty slight. <laughs> like, That's true. Japanese men are pretty slight. They're getting like the serious outliers for the sumo. Yeah, there's and probably then, not a good lot of girls that are at that weight class. <laughs> Like Japanese women are like the whole thing is they're all like, yeah, we're all like small. We're, we're not a fucking America, a country of obese people. We fatten up certain people to compete in this thing. And it's tough. And it's tough. But they're like, we don't have a bunch of people who look like sumo wrestlers walking around. You know what I was thinking about the body positivity movement that's kind of funny is so if you take these, let's say a, a 600 pound guy, 600 pound girl, and their thing is kind of like hey, like, we're just as hot or whatever. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, so when you masturbate, do you do that to someone else, the 700 pounds? Like, is that, you know what I mean? Like, if you're if you're a 700 pound guy being like, p body positivity is everything, do you only, like, when you fucking look up porn, are you only looking up other 700 pound people? Like, oh, if you're a girl, a like, you say you're this six, no. you know those six, 800 pound girls or whatever, where like, the whole, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And the whole, their whole thing is, how hot I am, actually. If anything, I'm just as hot, right? Yeah. When they think of a guy that's like they're fantasizing about a guy, are they picturing another person their size? Yeah, like is it Brad Pitt or is it John Panette or something? Like, right, are they, exactly. Are they, like Typhoon or Are whatever. they picturing John, <laughs> John Panay? <laughs> Isn't that sort of, you know? Yeah, no. Right? But there's nothing, I guess there's like, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, exactly. Well, why are they, you know, why is it only one way? Why don't you think that's so hot either? I mean, the the most important thing is that GQ and all those women's magazines think that that is the height of beauty. Sumo. That's sumo. Do you know what I was, I was saying this to you on the plane, but because there's all those uh, things where they go. Um, but it'd be funny actually if they can't find sumo wrestlers in Japan, but then they just be like, you know what we'll do? We'll just find all the new female models in America. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Big enough. <laughs> it's just all fucking like all those vanity, yeah. Fans, like all those magazines that are like <laughs> glamour magazines, just like some six hundred pound chick on the cover. Yeah. So you go to the sumo match and it's all Japanese guys, white women from right, fucking women from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> and then they go in America. She's a model, and they're yeah, like, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, yeah, look at this fucking cover of magazines. <laughs>